Hey guys, James and Eddie Five Three Two here. So today, I regret to inform you, it's the final day of everyday uploads, and to celebrate the twenty-something videos I've done, I wanted to go through every single railway series custom that I have done recently. This is the end of the Railway Series Saga. Now, let me clarify. That does not mean I will never make anything Railway Series again. No, 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 no. This just means that the main batch, 1 through 11, is complete. Which is honestly a rare occasion with making Railway Series customs. Now, you've only seen the only three iterations of the Railway Series batch, but I have done multiple. Many, many copies, many, many duplicates, many, many a lot of things. But this one is probably my favorite patch and probably will not be changed for a while. Now, I'm doing this because some engines have changed a lot. Some engines have received a repaint. Some engines have been totally rebuilt and some have just gotten minor upgrades and I do hope at the end of this video to showcase a new engine the final engine to complete off this set now we will start with the very first engine I built in this collection my favorite one in this saga James the Red Engine so, this is, I'm going to show off James here, as if he were a normal custom. I will explain what I did, and why I did him first, I suppose, and go into small stuff. So, James was made out of a basic Tomy Mattel James, um, or Tomy James, sorry. I cut off the front, extended it with a piece of foam board, wrapped it in tape to give it that smoothness. Then, on the bottom here, I poked a little toothpick in there and made this bogey out of a Trekmaster push along wheel. So, James is a proper 260. Kept his buffer beam and glued it on the front. These two were just malleable bits of cardboard. I painted him in Rustoleum Apple Barrel Red. Er, Apple Barrel. Apologies. Apple Red Shade. And then I went about lining him with Deco Art Primary Yellow. His gold is also Deco Art Primary Yellow. And then his blue. I did his blue lining around his arches, his cab, and tender. His number five was achieved with the same sort of yellow. After doing all that, I glued on a yellow toothpick to represent the whistle. And then I also gave him a little builder's plate. The face was a piece of cardboard with the smug James face drawn onto him. Alright, that was James the Red Engine. Now, he was the first one completed, but now I'm going to show you the actual number one. Well, both of them. Now, this Thomas is not the same Thomas as was shown in the custom showcase. Um, this Thomas was scratch built recently. I decided that this Thomas, while very, while good, wasn't quite perfect. Because the lining is absolutely terrible, which I hate the lining here. And he's very long, as you can see. 
the new Thomas is shorter. And yeah, just I generally was not happy with him. Does he look too large? But I decided to repaint him or redo him entirely. So I took the same chassis from that Thomas and put it onto this scratch belt one. Now this is based off of a Midland 1F which is why he has the little bits at the front of his smoke box. Although the pink job does not look like a Midland's wood, it is close. It is how I like it. Thomas' tanks are shorter in this version, and his boiler is a little bit longer. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. This Thomas isn't to isn't 100% complete. There are minor things that I want to go back and do, but it is good enough to show off. And I took the face from this Thomas and put it onto this one. I have not given him a builder's plate yet, but I hope to do that soon. That is Thomas. Now, I'm not Another engine I want to show off that there are a few of these engines that I want to show off that aren't, haven't had any mods done actually, which is sort of shocking because considering how often I look at them and think about what could be better. One of those, if he will come out of a shed, is Edward. The blue engine. Now Edward was made from a Molly. With that's how I got the chassis, the cab, the boiler, the firebox. Basically, the entire part up from the footplate was scratch built, and the Molly tender was used. His face was done the same way as done James and Thomas's. And he was lined in a a Posca mark Posca dark red marker. He was one of the ones that I hadn't done anything to. Similarly, Percy also fell into that category. I do plan to rebuild Percy at some point, because if you put him next to Thomas, well, smaller, yes. He still looks a little too big. And his chassis makes him sit at awkward angles, which I really do not like. Percy was entirely scratch built. The only thing that wasn't scratch built was the wheels. Toby has not changed a bit. I still have not fixed the side of the frames and I have not painted the back of the cow catcher simply because they are such minor things I'm not exactly concerned about them Duck also has not changed he used the exact same as before which doesn't sound like a very enticing custom but I'm okay with it because I am very, I like how Duck come out. I also like how Edward, Toby, and Percy come out. As well as Donald and Douglas here. Then you might be wondering, why are you including these in your Railway Series Showcase? Even though you also put these while you were doing TV Series models. Well, I do that. Because they are wearing Railway Series liveries, but have TV Series white footplates. But I don't think that's enough to count them as a different models entirely. They were painted in the same shade of blue, Posca marker and gold markers too. They have silver buffer buffers, which I would like to go back and change simply because there was one engine in particular I would prefer to just have be the only one having silver buffers. That being... Go 
Ford in the big engine. As you can see, he looks drastically different from before. If you remember the previous Gordon, his foot plate sloped up, not as high, and then had this long slope at the front. Well, I really did not like that. Simply because, if you were to put Gordon next to engines such as Henry, who is canonly smaller than Gordon, Gordon would look smaller than Henry. And I did not like that. So, I went back and fixed him to make him taller. His boiler is now straight across rather than slanted downward in the front. So, you might be wondering, okay, well, what about his wheel arches? You didn't do his arches. No. Well, I have this cannon thing. It's... These are railway series engines and sort of my head cannon. Because in the railway series, there were several differences between these models and those models. But my head cannon for this version of Gordon is that he was Sir Nigel Grizzly's very first engine ever. Period. Gordon's first. You know how when you do something for the very first time, you kind of suck at it? Yes, well, Grizzly did something for the very first time, building a locomotive. He decided to do that, and the outcome was Gordon. And guess what? He kind of sucked at it. So, what did he do? He took inspiration from Gordon to build the A1, A3 class, which was the first class Grizzly ever built. So, Gordon is the prototype to the A0 class, which is a fictional class. Which then, Grizzly took his greatly improved A0 and made it into A1, A3s. Gordon is a A... AX, I suppose, is the best way to put it, just because he was before everything. But, so, Gordon had massive issues. But not enough for, not like Henry, where he had steaming issues... It was mentioned later on in his valve gear had issues working. So I was th so I took that and kind of incorporated that into one of the many issues Gordon had. He also pumped out way too much smoke from his funnel. From his boiler. So that's why he has these smoke deflectors on the side. But Gordon was built, or rebuilt rather, after a horrible accident on in the early days of Sodor. So, to fix the valve gear issue and just kind of generally help Gordon's running, they raised the footplate over the wheels. Similar to how American engines were. This did make them harder to build, but the running on Gordon is excellent. Yeah. That is sort of my... AU for this version of Gordon. That's... I also just really wanted to give him smoke deflectors. <laughs> um, yeah. And the, re the real construction reason why I didn't give him wheel arches is because, look at him. He wouldn't have needed wheel arches. You know, you can see the back. Or the inside of him. Uh, I thought about adding to the outside of the wheel to make the wheels larger, so he did need, or looked like he needed wheel arches, but he, I don't know how to do that, simply, so I didn't, but yeah, so I, that's sort of my Gordon cannon, yeah, Henry has had zero changes. The only difference is I shortened the face a little bit. Yeah, but he also has these little bits that stick onto the side of his firebox there to make it old shape. I know, I did a whole old shape Henry custom already. Well, I am currently thinking about going back and redoing that simply because it doesn't look like any sort of engine in particular. <laughs> 
which is not, I don't like it, really. So I'm going to go back, and he's not going to be blue or green reversible, he's going to be the standard green livery, like Henry is supposed to be. So hopefully you will see that soon. Forgive me as I put Henry back in the shed here. Yeah. So guys, that has been the entirety of the Railway Series engines. Oh, wait a second. I think I forgot someone. Let me go get him. All right, here he is. Everybody's favorite little Western engine. Little escaped brave Western engine. Now presenting. Now presenting Oliver, the great Western engine. I know, he looks a little bit odd at the moment. This face is just a temporary. Just so I could do the showcase. Because I've worked on him for so long. I really wanted to get him out there. So here he is. If you can ignore the face for a little while. You will enjoy this model a whole lot more. So. Our story begins. With Edward. Normal Tommy Edward. Not my Molly Edward. Now, why did I choose Edward to make Oliver, hmm? Edward's a tender engine, Oliver's a tank engine. Well, it is because when you flip Edward the other way, he has two wheels in the front, two massive wheels in the front, and two smaller wheels in the back. And Oliver, his basis, the 14XX, has two wheels in the front and one small wheel in the back. So... I took the Edward and kind of just removed the motor and everything here, wiring and stuff at the back, and made that the front. He runs really good. Yeah. And he has this giant pole in the back. But, uh, yeah. So then I also proceeded to cut a little area where one of his back wheels could fit into. So Oliver's wasn't too far back, too far forward, or anything. It fit perfectly. I saved his wheel arches for the wheel arches. And extended the back a tiny bit. Made a pit going down for the back buffers. Then... I took the Edward um, body, used the cab, made a bunker and some tanks, and a little bit of a firebox. And that's how I got the dome. If you've stuck around here long enough, you all know I hate doing domes. And the smoke box was just a little bit of malleable cardboard wrapped around in a straw on top for the funnel. Like, similarly to Thomas, I do want to, um, fix him. Not fix him, but complete him properly, as there are a few minor things I would like to go back and fix, like the face and the black on the inside here. Yeah. If you can see, he is about the same size as Duck, which was exactly what I was going for. Yeah, but he is also bigger, I believe. He is bigger than Thomas. Yes, yes, he is. He is a tiny bit longer than Thomas, which, in my opinion, is perfect for Oliver. I always thought Oliver was like... A bigger, you know, bigger than Thomas kind of character. <laughs> Just because of the extra wheel at the back. And, like, he's with Duck, who is 
bigger than Thomas as well, so kind of figured, you know. Well, yeah, guys, that has been all of the Railway Series customs in this saga. So, see if I can get a whole shot of all the engines. Come on, Henry, 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 Henry. There we go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video, which probably won't be till next week. Or till weeks later, because I'm probably feeling a little bit tired after all that. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.